Dual Beam Sensor Setup Follow for Meredvin's Alarm Setup Unprotected Property Easily Entered Protected by Advanced Dual Beam Sensor With Floodlight and Wireless Trance Mindsiness Dual Beam Sensor can be stand a lanier with Alarm Panel Dual Beam Sensor with Alarm Panel Transmitter Receiver Alarm Panel Outdoor 12V Power Supply Wired Siren Open the receiver Avoid touching that will lens of the sensor These are the terminals for termination. One and two is for the power supply. Three, four and five is for relay output or alarm output. Six and seven is for tamper switch. Install the sensor to fee pole. Don't forget to put the rubber to the screw for waterproofing. Dual Beam Sensor has IP55 category. The range of between two sensors are approximately 2150 meters. Dual Beam Sensor says infrared laser beam. The object must block the two beam before realarming. To prevent constant false alarm. Dual beam sensor air safe alternative for electric fence and can work stand a lanier with alarm panel. If connected to Wi-Fi alarm panel, this sensor can integrate with Tuya Pete's camera. If triggered the alarm panel can command the Pete's Comrado auto track motion or cruise to a sentin location. This setup can maximize accuracy and convenience. Cable termination. It needs two pair of cables. Color-coded cables can be more convenient to use. Insert the cable at back of the sensor. Then terminate feekables. Red is for one or plus positive. Black is for two or negative. White is for five, relay command. And black is for seven or tamper out.
Zipper switch is to prevent any unwanted opening of the sensor cover. Put a jumper wire from 6 to 3. This wire will connect that tamper out toller mount. This setup is Kaladziri's connection. Check the termination. Transmitter our machine to terminate. It only have a four terminals. One and two is for power. Three and four is for tamper out. Red is for one or plus positive. Black is for 2 or negative. White is for 3 or tamper out 1. Black is for 4 or tamper out 2. Take the REC I Evers 2 pair cable. The combination is R for receiver, T for transmitter, A for red or 1, B for black or 2, C for white or alarm out 1, D for black alarm out 2. Transmitters cable. Connect the receiver's cable out to to transmitters cable out to RD plus TD. Take out the receivers out one cable and transmitters out one cable for later use. Outdoor power supply termination. Connect their cable to plus and black to a female DC jack. Then take out their receivers and transmitters wire. Then connect the buff red wire to the power supplier plus TA. Do the same procedure at both black or negative viewer B plus TB. Connect the negative wire to the power supply.
connect the DC jack. The power is now complete. Power on. If the two sensors are properly installed, the light at good. If not, then the light is at alarm. Block the sensor stow check. If properly working post to the last step. Take the receivers and transmitters alarm out one. Connect the both alarm out one to zone one and ground off the alarm panel. Then connect the red where two speed plus and black to speed for the external siren. This wire will be spliced to the alarm out. Connect the alarm UTO the zone 1 and grounder C plus Z1 and TC plus ground. Then connect the speed plus to the red wire of the siren and speed to the black wire of the siren. All are done. Thank you for watching.